Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and I'm here today to talk to you about a new product from Topaz Labs called Texture Effects. Now, the cool thing about this product is that it runs either standalone, so no Photoshop's required, but if you prefer Photoshop, you're certainly welcome to do that. Just create a new layer, go Topaz Labs, Texture Effects, and use it like you would any other Topaz Labs product within Photoshop. So make some changes, hit OK. And my effect is applied. Now, for the purposes of the demo today, I'm going to go ahead and use the standalone version. It's not required. Performance is the same. But that's just what I choose to use. You can drag and drop files, or you can actually go choose to browse for them. So I'm going to browse, and I'm going to come in here and choose this flowers image. And what you'll notice is that it's a pretty good performing product. This is a system that's probably about mm, four or five years old, um, so not a really super fast system. Um, and I'm using a fairly large file. So let's actually go through the UI a little bit. I can always get back to what my original image was. I can zoom in, of course. If I want to look at it actual pixels, I can. I can move my image around, zoom out, and I'd usually work in the default of uh, fit to screen mode. It makes the most sense for this product until you start getting into any sort of fine level adjustments. Now, as you can see over here, there's lots of choices for built-in effects. And then if I come in here, I can see there's different categories of effects. So I can say, you know what, for this one, let's take a look at the earthy types of effects. I can also come over here and search by tags. I actually kind of like this one a little bit better because I can say, hey, this is you know, nature or landscape. Let's actually look at one, which ones are sort of uh, designed specifically for that. Oops. And so that really helps me to apply effects that are relevant to my type of image. Now the other thing I can do is I can also search. And so in this case, I'm going to search for ones with the word summer in it. And here's the summer dawn effect. And I like it, but there's some things I don't like about it. I don't like this like line and thing that's happening here. So let's actually go in and customize this one. So if I click on this little button, it shows me that this product basically works with the concept of adjustment layers. You might be familiar with that from Photoshop. And so if I want to uh, experiment to see what these things do, I can actually go and turn these things on and off. So this is like basic adjustments dust and scratches, and hey, that was it. That was the thing that I didn't like. So I can choose to just delete that, or I can experiment, uh, make some modifications, and so on. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete that one. I like what's going on here, but now that I've removed that, I kind of lacks that texture effect, which I kind of liked it a little bit, but just not that particular one. So let me actually go in here and say texture. Now there's a lot of great built-in textures, but let's suppose you have some of your own that you really want to use. So I'm going to go click on this little icon, it's called Manage Textures, and you may have some that you've downloaded, you can put them here, or I'm actually going to create a new category, because I bought some cool textures a long time ago from Trey Ratcliffe. And I want to go import those, so I'll click Import, Go to those textures, and I can choose to import the ones that I want. For now, I'm going to just import this one. But there's, I have 150 that I got from him, so this is really a great library that I can now include in this product. Click close. Come over here. I'll now see that that category I added is there, and I have this effect. Now, I like this effect, but it's a little too harsh in the way that it appears here, so... I'm going to come down here, choose soft light, and then I'm going to 
adjust the opacity. So I'm going to leave it there, but just maybe turn it down just a little bit. So if you notice that if I kick this all the way up, the effects real hard, effects removed. And so I can set this wherever uh, I choose for the um, strength of the effect. And there's other adjustments that I can make as well to that layer. But I'm going to stick with that. And let's actually go do one other thing. I want to do light leak because I actually like this idea of having some sunlight on this type of shot. But the problem is, is the sunlight's not the direction I want it to. The sun's actually coming from over here. So let's actually flip that over, get it where I want it. And I'd actually kind of like this beam to spread a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this a little bit and then I'm going to change the size, kind of open that up. So now I've got that cool um, sunshine effect, and it's exactly the way that I like it. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this one, and I'm going to call it my new effect here. I'm going to call it early morning. And then I'm going to say this is kind of earthy and erythral. And then I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably good for nature, landscapes, maybe even wildlife. And then click Save. And so now, if I come back over to the screen, I have my effect on here. And I can also save it my favorites if I choose. And let's say I wanted to share this with the community. So that's actually a really cool feature is that I can actually do a share now. And you'll see it actually uploads my effect, not my image, but just my effect up to the server so that other people in the community can now use this effect. So the way you actually go see that and others is if I click on this browse button, You'll see my image, and what will happen is, is that we're going to download not only the effects for uh, that are currently in the product, all the ones in the community as well by default. I actually kind of wish that that uh, default wasn't both and allowed me to see local first and then choose to go online, but that's the current default. Um, this is the first version of the product, so that could potentially change in the future. So, as I mentioned, you got local and community in both. And then I can come in here to effects and see the ones that I've shared, as well as the other categories. And then I can also filter down and say, you know, let's actually show me the, let's go the earthy ones. And this is going to take a second. I want to get rid of this word summer. And I'm going to go ahead and see the ones that are for nature. So now all the community and local effects that are earthy, that have the tag nature, show up. And you can see that even mine is here as well now. This is something that anybody in the community can download. If I should happen to have another system that I want to have my image on. The cool thing is, is I can use this as a mechanism to download my uh, presets that I've created and uh, use it on other systems as well. So um, it's actually good for your own uh, selfish reasons in addition to sharing with the community. So now that I have that, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick something else. And so now that effect has been applied, and I can go make any adjustments that I want. Now let's suppose you're a real creative type and you haven't really found something that you want. You want to just kind of do some experimentations of something you know, really new and cool. So you can actually start over from scratch and have something that has no, nothing at all. If I click Add Adjustments, I can come in here and choose any of these types of settings. So let's just do basic adjustments and let's say, you know, I want to do something that's really desaturated or super saturated or whatever kind of uh, changes I want to make. And I want to 
do something like maybe add some edge blur. Let's do a little diffusion. And you can just kind of experiment with how these things work. And let's say I want some borders. Do a black border. And let's say I just want that right at the edges. You can do that. And I could do a light leak. And you see how this uh, actually affects my border. So that's one of the things you can think about when doing these is the order. So I can actually move that. And so now the effect is applied underneath the border. So um, I didn't uh, get that unintended effect. So this is really working just like you know Lightroom, uh, excuse me, like Photoshop's layers. Um, you can delete layers. You can always reset it back to its original um, settings. So the other thing you can do is you can actually have duplicates of the, the same type. So I want to do basic, basic adjustments again. And you know, another type of border or you know, edge blur again. Whatever I want to do. These are just Again, layers that I can add to my heart's content. As I'm working, I can always turn the effect on and off to see what impact it has. Change my mind, I can delete it. Um, all the basic stuff that you're used to if you've ever worked with layers. Now, another cool thing that you can do is you can come in here. Let's actually do dust and scratches. And let's suppose that there's an effect that I like. Let's say, I don't know, this one here. And I like it, but this you know, blot that they have there just really bugs me. Uh, like everything except for that. Well, the cool thing is I don't need Photoshop to deal with that. I just say brush, come in here, and erase that. So got that problem solved. Now the other thing is, is let's suppose that I've done all these changes. I'm happy with them all, but you know, the, really the uh, core thing of my image here. Um, I don't want being impacted by all this stuff. So I can come into mask and then I can actually turn this on as color aware and remove the effect from this particular flower. And you can kind of see down here with color aware um, it's trying to select the colors, and so if I said, well, you know, that's a good idea, but there's so many colors in here, maybe I don't want that uh, effect on. Come back in here, and it'll just paint like normal. So I'll come in here, paint that effect out, and you see now this is the exact um, uh, original that I had uh, without any changes to it. See, nothing changes there. Now the other thing I can do is I can actually change the overall opacity. So I have the effect, but it's not quite as intense. And I can go to whatever level I want. So this is also cool that if you have something that's kind of what you want, but um, after doing all the work, it's just not quite as, uh, it's a little too strong or too heavy for what you're looking for. So this is really useful for a lot of the presets that are available. So you know, let's say I like this black and white effect. I can come in here. Go to my mask. So I could come up here and reduce the opacity to bring some of that color back for a really cool effect. And let's say I just really didn't like those dust and scratches. I turn those off, remove them, whatever I want to do. So that's Topaz Texture Effects. There's over 130 customizable effects and over 275 high resolution assets with features like community effect sharing, um, standalone and plug in external editor so that you can use this with Lightroom or whatever you choose. Um, you know, these texture managers and you know, really improved, fast user interface over some of the products uh, that are similar to this from Topaz. So I strongly encourage you to check it out and check out my blog for discounts and um, deals and products like this. Thanks.